There's no such thing as work-life balance. None! Just fucking do it. Subscribe now. If you don't do the homework, homework, go home. No refund. I'm going to say it again slow. If you don't do the fucking homework, go home. There's a direct correlation. Somebody asked me, how do I make the most of this week? Was it the Ukraine guy? Where is he? Did you ask me? Yeah, okay. Take copious notes. Copious means lots. Because you don't get the slides anymore. Why don't we give you the slides anymore? Because you use them for toilet paper. And you use that as a crutch not to pay attention. And there's a direct correlation now. The ones that take the most copious notes and then go back, and we're going to show you how to make the best notes, use of your notes. And you go back and you organize them and you copy them. And cognitively, you're writing them down again in your brain. It works better. <clears throat> but the ones that ask... Also, the ones that ask the most questions have the lowest probability of success. I'm going to say it again. The one that asks the most questions have the lowest probability of success. And I'll be able to tell by noon tomorrow how many of you did your homework before you got here. Remember all that shit I told you to read that you didn't? So if you thought that little of it, you didn't do it before you got here, the fact then is compounded by the fact that you ask a lot of questions, which just illustrates how fucking stupid you are, and you don't succeed. Plus, I make fun of you. See, I believe whoever said there's no thing is a bad question was a fucking moron. I didn't ask five questions in all the times I flunked out of university. I didn't ask five questions in the time when I went back and graduated with honors in university. And I'm not considered gifted with 140 IQ. Maybe some of you have higher. This is not a joke to me. All you are are numbers to me.